Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're trying something new. We're gonna be sharing with you our absolute favorite places to eat in St. Augustine, Florida. If you're new here, I'm Jom and this is Alexis. We're currently renovating our 1999 Airstream and hoping that soon we'll be on the road and living simple. All right, first things first, let's talk coffee. Since we visited St. Augustine, I stopped drinking coffee, which was a big thing for me. But I still know how important it is, so I want to share with you, if you're a coffee lover, where you can find some really delicious stuff in St. Augustine. The first place we went to that I appreciated very much was Growers Alliance. This place is really cute. Uh, they had great coffee and this delicious gluten-free flourless cake that I'm still dreaming about to this day. It's really good. <laughs> they also have a nice little gift shop, which is fair trade, all these beautiful um, jewelry and handmade, handcrafted, uh, just gorgeous goods. And they're open at 6 a.m. Monday through Friday. Saturday is a little bit later. But if you're an early riser, this is the place. They also have a drive-through, which makes it really convenient to grab your cup of coffee and just keep going. How's that coffee? Delicious. Growers Alliance, thank you for coming through. This is delicious. Like you, my soul came back to my you body. You needed it. You needed like it. I needed it. My soul came back to my body. But if cappuccinos or lattes are your thing, then I recommend Juniper Market. On San Marco Avenue. We'll talk more about that a little bit later. If you want a good American breakfast, we recommend Beachside Diner. Not only do they have great food, but they also have extraordinary service. The staff was really welcoming and sweet. Yes, they were. How many thumbs up for the diner? Beachside diner, how many? Two thumbs up? No. Four, five, six, eight, ten. Oh my God. It was pretty good, right? <laughs> yes, we got our pancake fix and we're excited and happy. It and the home good. fries were the, mm. And the coffee was pretty good too. Yeah. So yeah. we recommend this place, yes? Yeah, and it's looking like you have to leave the downtown area to find the really good food. Yeah, the gems of, of the area. For We're sure. on the beach side, which where you're finding uh, a lot more restaurants that are visited by the locals. So, you know, not as touristy. Yeah. Better food. Pop it. If you head into downtown St. Augustine, you have to stop at Ben's Pretzels and get yourself a delicious baked pretzel. It's a must. Make sure once you grab your pretzel, you walk through into their courtyard. It's stunning, it's so pretty. It's like a hidden gem. <laughs> we enjoyed our pretzel back there with some delicious mustard to dip in. It's a good time. But I'll give you a warning. <laughs> Some people may experience excessive dancing and disorder. Some people might want to dance. Are you ready for this jelly? Are you ready for this? Yes. Gluten galore, by the way. I really shouldn't be having this pretzel because I shouldn't be having gluten. But it's going in my belly. Alexis, don't use that. Don't use that video. Don't use that. That's what the pretzels do to me if you want to dance. The 
next spot is actually so good that it was also featured in our St. <laughs> Augustine tour video. Check that out here or here or here or here. Somewhere. The one and only Juniper Market. It's our go-to spot when we visit St. Augustine. They also have a new location. Yeah, I like it. It's very nice. Yeah. Same block. Different spot. Different spot across the street. Different type of building. Still delicious food. Different vibe. Delicious food. Very cool decor. Lots of plants. Yeah. Oh, and they also have a little gift shop area where they feature a lot of local artists and uh, artists just here in Florida, really. Right. She, um, I follow her on Instagram and I think she's adorable. She uses recycled glass to make the um, candle containers and I've been dying to get one of her candles. It smells delicious. It smells so good. I love her. She's the cutest. Ooh. This time we tried something new. They had these pita dishes on their on their menu. Mm -hmm. I had the salmon uh, cake pita, which was really good. Mm -hmm. And you had the sweet potato hummus pita. Which delicious. looked really good. It was good? It was delicious. Yeah. This is a sweet potato hummus pita. I accompanied my delicious dish with a latte that was incredible. I'm still thinking about it to this day. I would say it's probably the best one I've ever had. And it's the last one you ever have. Yes, unfortunately. It's <laughs> so good. Yeah. And Jaya had the avocado toast, which was delicious, just like he had last time. He always has that kind of toast. You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. And he doesn't like much of anything else <laughs> except avocado kind of toast and sushi rice. But you don't have to tell everybody that. <laughs> I did. No. The service at Juniper Market is also really good. Everybody's friendly. And it was pretty quick. We got our meal within 15, 15 minutes. 15 max. minutes. Making a U-turn for tacos. <laughs> okay, now this is my section. Okay, step back. We're gonna talk tacos. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's talk tacos. They call me Taco Man. Mm, I think only you call. I call myself Taco Man. <laughs> I can't so resist a taco food truck or a little shop with homemade tacos. I just can't. I just can't. <laughs> okay, Taco Man. <laughs> what was your favorite taco place in St. Augustine? Hands down. Oh, well, not just in St. Augustine. In my life. Wow. You must be serious. I'm gonna say it. What is it? Let the people know. It's Osprey Tacos on Anastasia Boulevard. Hands down, the best tacos. Yeah, they were really, really, really good. This place is located in a cool deco building. It has a nice vibe and it has outdoor seating picnic table style. Yeah, and there's a brewery next door if you're into that. They also have vegetarian and vegan options, which are yes. delicious. I had one of the vegan options and it was just... I had the non-vegan delicious chicken taco. Uh, and it was great. They were both delicious. great. It was delicious. So we highly recommend this place. If you are there in that area, you have to visit them. Yeah, and I think next time, just so we are clear, I'm going to go there every day okay. for lunch and dinner. I'll join you. Okay. <laughs> so I'll see you there. <laughs> we'll, have it. we'll make it a date. It's a date. Alright, what's the final verdict on Osprey Tacos? Amazing. Definitely worth coming back. It was so, so good, I would say. I know, it's looking like the top, 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 That's, top of the list. Yeah, I would say definitely top yeah. of the list of places we 
and easy and convenient, which is very important to us travelers. Affordable. Yeah, that was good. And very cute. I like the setup, uh, the architecture, and the colors that they used. It's a cool spot, period. It's a cool spot. Yeah. We'll be back. See you next year, Osprey Tacos. If you're looking for a real quick bite, you have to stop at Nalu's Tropical Takeout. It's a little food truck located right outside of Anastasia State Park. This time I had the ahi burger and the tuna was cooked perfectly. It was red rare. Sounds delicious. It was incredible. And the sauce? Which sauce did you have? I don't remember. <laughs> Jaya and I split a delicious spinach wrap with blackened fish. It was amazing. And Jaya doesn't usually eat all those types of things and he took it down. Yeah, on his own. Yeah, we didn't on even have to help home. him, <laughs> which is rare. Okay. So the food is so good that even Jaya is eating on his own. This is rare. How does that feel to not assist your child? I don't know, I've never done it before. Very proud of you. Hmm? Go, show me, show me. Grab it. Just grab it. Open your mouth. Oh my god, a monster bite. My goodness. Well, oh wow, the monster came out. It's good, huh? And now with the full belly, we're hitting the beach, right? Yes. We sat on the side of uh, the Nalu's food truck, they are in the little uh, patio tables, and the really cool thing is that the owner's wife makes a lot of art and she puts it up, she hangs it up there and it's just beautiful, it's nice to look at. Um, it's got really nice work. Very cool stuff. Mm -hmm. We saved dessert for last and so thank you for sticking around for this. We couldn't leave St. Augustine without heading to Hippo's Gourmet Ice Pops. This time we realized that Hippos has a really cute outdoor patio and we headed back there, enjoyed our ice cream and took in the sounds yeah. of the music that was playing nearby. It was a perfect place to enjoy a sweet treat. Yeah, and the sounds of the water, the little fountain. Yes, that was nice too. Very relaxing. So, it's a little too cold for ice cream in my opinion. Yeah. But this maple... A hot chocolate would have been way better. Hot chocolate would have more appropriate, but this maple... Mame ice cream is Put it again? top three. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah. They had blackberry goat cheese. You see, I told you <laughs> that last. Yeah, <laughs> last time we we're here, I saw something with goat cheese. So I wish I would try it, but I wasn't really in the mood for a goat cheese situation. It's not a goat cheese moment. No. I'm having the champagne mango. It's pretty good. Jaya is having the strawberry, right, Jaya? Yeah. Is it good? Tú lo recomiendas? Tú le dirías a alguien que sí? Yeah. Thumbs up! Oh, it must be really good. That's a good ice cream when you get a <laughs> thumbs up from Jaya. The good thing is, yes. we're having these early, so then we get a hot chocolate later. Wow. <laughs> right before the trolley. Yeah? You're saying, in a three hour span, we're gonna have a salty pretzel. Yeah. Mame ice cream. And then a hot chocolate? Yeah, we're out of control. Out of control. We're out of control. We're letting go. No, we're not letting go. <laughs> it's a one-time deal. <laughs> Tomorrow we're working out. <laughs> okay. At Anastasia State Park. We try to eat healthy as much as possible when we're on the road. But we found that it was kind of hard to find places like that. 
that were inexpensive, that were healthy, that were delicious, delicious, and convenient. And convenient. So we decided to make this video and uh, share with you guys all the places we found that we loved. If you want us to share more videos about places on the road to eat that are healthy, convenient, and inexpensive, leave us a comment below and let us know. <laughs> that wasn't listening. Was that good? Yeah? No, I don't know. Go. Oh, okay, I wasn't Go. listening. By the way, it was really hard to make this video on an empty stomach and, <laughs> and drooling. <laughs> and drooling right now. And on that note, thanks for watching, guys. Remember to hit the like button. Subscribe to our channel and join our tribe and hit that notification button. Bing! Bye guys. So, if you were in St. Augustine right now, what would you eat? Well, Osprey tacos. I said it. It's out. No, but everybody knows. How about you? I would probably go to Osprey, but I do have some food restrictions and it's yeah. really hard on the road traveling. You're going to have air <laughs> and water. And water. Yes. Um, it's hard finding options on the road. Yeah. And more than anything that we try to remain healthy and try to eat, you know, well. And it's, it's not that easy to find so many things. No, we always end up at a supermarket yeah. buying fruit. <laughs> then we eat the fruit and we're still hungry. Tons of fruit. Yes. Yeah, but St. Augustine, it's not not lacking food. No, they had really good options. I was very happy. Yeah. Very happy. With that. And I like that they had a lot of vegan and vegetarian yeah. options. It wasn't, you know. Not only that, I saw gluten free. Yeah. And some places had grain free. Yeah, which is nice. Yeah. All right, let's go. I gotta eat. Let's go. What'd you say about fruit? <laughs> you couldn't wait till it went inside. I gotta go. <laughs>